U.S. president there talking about the needs of developing countries. And that's exactly what Indian climate campaigner Lissi Priya Kangaja has been focusing on. And she joins us now from the Climate Summit in Sharm El Sheikh. Thanks for being with us, Lissi Priya. Now, you've been speaking at the COP Summit about climate finance. What exactly are you calling for? Um, I have a small message to our world leaders. I'm coming here all the way from India, from thousands of kilometers, to urge our world leaders to deliver urgent concrete climate action now for the loss and damage caused by the climate crisis to the global south. There will be no climate justice without climate finance. Your action today will decide our future tomorrow. My generation is already the victims of climate crisis. I don't want my future generations to face the same consequences because of the inaction and empty false promises. Take concrete climate action now. During this mm -hmm. COP27, right in front of us for a better, cleaner, and safer future. Okay. Now, the U.S. president, he just spoke at the summit. I'm sure you heard him. Um, he talked about helping developing countries and wanting to help developing countries do their best to fight climate change. Are you satisfied yourself with what developed, with what developed countries are doing so far? Yeah, actually, if it's about India, I think India is doing the best to solve the global climate crisis. So it's still not enough yet. But my question is that are the rich countries doing enough? India is the only country, I guess, which is in the track um, to achieve the um, Paris Climate Agreement. Hmm. And meanwhile, India progresses as a leader in clean energy, but India is also a leader in burning coals. If we want to achieve Prime Minister Modi target to zero carbon emissions by 2070, then we need a just transition away from coal oil and gas, which are the top cause of the climate crisis. Otherwise, we can't achieve the goals. Right. Well, uh, of course, part of what makes young voices like yours so effective is that your future is at stake, You're the future of your generation. How do you expect the current efforts on climate change to affect your future? Well, actually, if you see, my my country, India, is facing lots of environmental issues like floods, droughts, heat waves, cyclones, locusts, forest fire, and air pollution, etc. on the same time. These are all the impact of climate change. And children are dying due to air pollution crisis in India and severe heat wave crisis in India. Children are dying due to war in Ukraine. Children are dying due to flash floods in Pakistan. Hmm. Children are dying due to starvation in Ethiopia. And many girl children are out of school to fetch water from a very long distance and okay. sacrificing the lives of the millions of innocent children for the failures of our leaders is unacceptable at any cost. And many Thanks. indigenous people are losing their forests and land rights because of deforestation and mining activities. So right. you must act now to save our planet and our future. Ms. Priya, thank you very much for talking with us. That was Indian climate campaigner Lissi Priya Kangajam in Egypt.